Chang'e 6 lunar landing time has been determined. Countdown begins. The Chang'e 6 probe's lunar landing time has been determined. It is about to land on the back of the moon and has entered the countdown. From launch to now, the entire process of preparing for landing to successful landing only allows a 15-minute window period, and this short moment is crucial for the technical team. Although Chinese spacecraft have previously landed on the back of the moon, this lunar exploration mission is still full of technical challenges. So, what are the technical difficulties of this process? In this video, let us explore in depth and uncover the technical secrets behind its landing. The Chang'e 6 probe has not landed since its launch on May 3rd. Everyone is eagerly looking forward to the moment when Chang'e 6 lands. Now the landing site and landing time have been determined, and the landing coordinates are located at 42.1 degrees south latitude and 154.4 degrees west longitude. The landing time is around 8 a.m. on June 2nd, which is the key moment of Chang'e SIXS mission and a lunar exploration project that has attracted global attention. The implementation of the Chang'e 6 lunar exploration mission marks another major breakthrough in China's space industry. Compared with previous lunar exploration projects, Chang'e 6 has shown innovation and highlights in many aspects. First of all, Chang'e 6 has achieved international cooperation in the field of lunar exploration for the first time, carrying scientific payloads from different countries, which not only reflects the open attitude of China's space industry, but also highlights the importance of international space cooperation. It should be noted that the mission goal of Chang'e 6 is to go to the far side of the moon for sampling, which is an unprecedented attempt in human history. The environment on the far side of the moon is completely different from that on the front side, so the sampling mission of Chang'e 6 has extremely high scientific value and exploration significance. From a technical point of view, previous lunar probes mostly used a clockwise way of flying around the moon, while Chang'e 6 flew around the moon counterclockwise for the first time and adopted a retrograde orbit. This flying method can better adapt to the terrain and environment on the back of the moon, providing strong support for the landing and sampling missions of Chang'e 6. The reason why the mission cycle of Chang'e 6 takes more than 50 days is mainly because it stays in the lunar orbit for a long time, and the technical challenges are more severe. Due to the limited communication conditions on the back of the moon, China previously launched the Keqiao Relay Satellite to successfully solve the communication problem with Chang'e 6. After Chang'e 6 completes various adjustments, it will usher in the most critical landing moment. The landing process is very short, only 15 minutes. In these 15 minutes, the probe needs to complete a series of complex actions such as deceleration, attitude adjustment, approaching the lunar surface, hovering, and slow descent. Every step cannot be taken lightly. Any mistake will end up with a hard landing like the probes of some countries. Although the gravity of the moon is only one-sixth of that of the Earth, it is still challenging to ensure the safe landing of the probe. In the lunar exploration mission, once the probe successfully landed on the far side of the moon, it would quickly carry out compact lunar soil sampling work. For Chang'e 6, it only had 48 hours to complete this critical task. At the same time, the orbiter returner would stay in the lunar orbit, waiting for the ascender to return with the lunar samples and rendezvous with it. Once the ascender sends the precious lunar soil samples to the lunar orbit, Chang'e SIXS sampling mission will have completed the crucial 80%. Subsequently, China's aerospace will demonstrate its superb space docking technology, 
which is to complete the docking and sample transfer of samples. When everything goes well, Chang'e 6 will enter the waiting phase around the moon, waiting for the best time to separate the orbiter returner assembly. After that, it will embark on a journey back to Earth and bring the samples from the far side of the moon home. The implementation of the Chang'e 6 mission marks a major breakthrough in China's aerospace in the field of lunar exploration. From the launch of the Keqiao-2 relay satellite to the successful landing and sampling of Chang'e 6, every link reflects the strength and innovation of China's aerospace. Although the United States has made brilliant achievements in the field of manned lunar landing in the past, it has not yet reached this level in the field of landing on the back of the moon due to the lack of support from relay satellites. It should be noted that the communication conditions on the back of the moon are limited. Without the support of relay satellites, no country's probe can establish a stable communication link with the Earth. The Keqiao relay satellite provides escort. China dares to go to the back of the moon to collect samples. The Keqiao relay satellite provides strong communication support for China's lunar exploration mission. At present, China has successfully deployed two relay satellites, providing important guarantees for the exploration mission on the back of the moon. For other countries, if they want to carry out the exploration mission on the back of the moon, they must have the support of relay satellites. This is very clear to all countries, including the United States. It is reported that the United States has applied to China for the use of relay satellites, and China has responded. The condition is that the use of relay satellites requires the payment of certain scientific research fees, and the collected data and information will be shared with China. Although the United States passed the Wolf Clause in 2011, restricting NASA from conducting space exchanges with China, which has led to a complete interruption in the space field between China and the United States. But why does the United States now apply to use China's Keqiao relay satellite? Because the United States has encountered two consecutive failures in the Lunar Exploration Project in 2024, but as a space power, the United States still has strong strength and potential. In the future, whether the United States will use China's Keqiao relay satellite depends on the specific progress of its lunar exploration plan. The rapid development of China's space industry has indeed changed the pattern of international space cooperation to a certain extent. More and more countries have begun to recognize the strength and potential of China's space industry and are willing to cooperate with China. This is not only a recognition of China's space achievements, but also an inevitable trend of international space cooperation. The landing mission of Chang'e 6 fully demonstrated the strength and independent innovation capabilities of China's space science and technology. We have reason to believe that with the efforts of scientific researchers, Chang'e 6 will be able to overcome many difficulties and successfully complete the landing and sampling mission on the back of the moon making new and greater contributions to the lunar exploration of China and even all mankind. Let us look forward to the good news that Chang'e 6 has successfully landed on the back of the moon. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.